My name is Michelle Villaranga and I'm a dance instructor and choreographer. I started dancing when I was four. I stopped my junior year in high school for a little while. I did some stuff um, dance wise like on the school dance team though. And then started life, got married, had some kids and found my way back when I think I was 27. I definitely think that you have to have somewhat of a natural ability um, to be a professional dancer. Um, but I really believe that anyone can dance. I believe that as long as you feel good doing it, um, if you're gonna be competitive, I do believe that you need a natural skill. Um, but I think that a lot of people dance because they love it and they feel it in their heart. And a lot of times that, that goes further and pe people feel that more um, when they're watching you dance or trying to teach you to dance. I've had a lot of students where I would look at their natural ability and think they have a long way to go and they would surpass those kids that didn't work as hard. So I think, I think it's a little bit of both. So I've won some choreography awards, um, a lot of first place routines on di different age levels, um, a world dance championship. <laughs> That's probably the highest accolade that I could think of. Um, but the choreo awards mean a lot too because that's something really personal. Um, that's something that even though the kids have to perform that um, to make my piece look the way that I feel it should, and sometimes better than I even envision it, um, it's something that I had to put work into and thought and a piece of me that's on the stage that they recognize. Both of my girls are dancers um, and they dance at the studio with me. I think it has helped them in a positive way because it's taught them good work ethic. Um, it has taught them to be a team player. It has taught them that they have to work to get what they want um, and that not everything comes easy. Um, I think negatively, you know, I guess with anything that's subjective, any type of art, people are judging you. And, you know, you always have that in the back of your mind. People are watching me. What if I do something wrong? If I mess up, are they gonna be upset with me? Um, it's a group, group effort. So the other kids in your group are relying on you. And I think that at times it does take a toll, especially if you're the leader of a group. Um, but I think overall, it's, it's been positive for them. And I think when they look back, it's definitely gonna be good, a lot of good memories. And I think it's gonna prepare them for things in life that they have to work hard for. And, you know, just like in a job, you have to be a team player. And I think they've learned that through dance. Dance has definitely taken a physical toll on me. There's a lot of jumping and uh, stretching that probably isn't always natural. So that and teaching as well, because I'm a very physical teacher. I like to demonstrate and I like to be a part of the class um, and dance along with my students at times. So, you know, now that I'm getting older, <laughs> um, it's definitely ca caught up a little bit and the joints and the muscles are, you know, aching the next day. <laughs> I definitely think that high quality standards um, gives you high quality results or experiences. I do believe that dance doesn't always have to be technical. It doesn't always have to be perfect. If you feel it in your heart and you want to be a dancer, dance. I feel like so many people have the misconception that you have to, you know, study hip hop to be a hip hop dancer. You don't have to study hip hop. You just have to go out and feel the music and taking a class or two or three would help you learn certain techniques, but you can be a hip hop dancer and not study hip hop. You can um, just dance because you love it. And you know, that goes a long way. <laughs>